Hey guys, I really hope my camera's not crooked, and if you hear squeaking, it's this old computer chair, sorry. So I got this little thing called Wreck This Journal, and it's by Carrie Smith, and I've seen a couple YouTubers do videos on this, and I thought it would be really fun to do on my channel. Um, I got this from Half Price Books, um, it's a little store, I don't know if that store is everywhere, I've only been there like once. Um, but anyway, the list price for this book is $15, and it even says it on the back here, U.S. $15, and at Half Price Book, I got it for $5.99. So I got a really cool deal on this. Um, what this book is, well, like it says here, they created this to destroy it. It's just like, it's really fun. I'll show you. Hold on, I'll read the little Mick Jagger here. So I'm not going to read like this whole thing, but I'm going to read this little passage up here. And it says, warning, during the process of this book, you will get dirty. You may find yourself covered in paint or any other number of foreign substances. You will get wet. You may be asked to do things you question. You may grieve for the perfect state that you found the book in. And you may begin to see creative destruction everywhere. You may begin to live more recklessly. So it's just, I don't know, it's going to be really fun, I feel. So, since this is the first video of this little series that I'm going to be doing on my channel, I'm, here's the book, brand new. So, hopefully I'll be able to finish the whole thing and we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do every one of these because some of them are really weird. Like, one of them is really gross and I'm not going to do, and I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it for you. It's something. It says something like, collect dead bugs. I'm not touching bugs. <laughs> if my kids want to do it, I'll let them do it, but I'm not doing it. So the first little page here, it has like, um, this book belongs to, and it wants you to like write your name in white, write your name allegedly, or illegible, I can't say the word, <laughs> illegibly, where you can't like really read it, um, let me see, write your name in tiny letters, write it backwards, uh, write it very faintly, write it, write your name using large letters, and all that other fun stuff, um, and it even has a funny little note at the bottom. It says, if found, flip to a page randomly, follow the instructions, then return. So, I'll do this part later. Um, I want to actually get started on, like, a legit page for this video. And so, here's the little instructions. It says, number one, to carry this with you everywhere you go. I probably won't do that. Um, follow the instructions on every page. Order is not important. Um, so, like, the order you do it in doesn't matter. Uh, instructions are open to interpretation and experiment work against your better judgment so it even gives you like a list of materials you're gonna use I'm not gonna name all of them but some of them is really funny like you're gonna use ideas you're gonna use gum saliva uh, um, the weather garbage um, twist ties ink and paint and scissors and just all kinds of fun stuff so the very first one, it says to add your own page numbers, and the total amount of pages that I came up with, like some of them I considered as like one page, you'll see. Um, so this one is number one here. So there's the first page, and now the second page I went ahead and just put on this one, which says to crack the spine, and then I didn't number this one, but it says leave this page blank on purpose. So, like, I'm going to try and crack the spine. I don't know how. Ooh, I heard it. Hold on. Oh, you can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it, like, loosening. Hold on, let me see if I can get you to hear it. Hold on here. Ah, it didn't really do it that time. I might have cracked it too much. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to hear what I heard, but... You know how like when you eat a York peppermint patty and you put it really close to your ear and tear a piece off, it's like, <sighs> that's what it sounded like. So this book, if any of you have OCD, I don't know if this is the book for you because it's going to definitely test your OCD. Like I know there's people that have OCD with keeping the spine of all your books perfect and like not, like not even barely bending it. So the very first thing they had to do was crack the spine, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's not going to stay shut on its own anymore. Um, so now I'm going to find, since that was page one, I'm going to find page two now. Um, I numbered these pages not in order. I numbered them like completely randomly. I just went through and was like, one, 
and then grabbed a big handful and was like two, and then grabbed another big handful and was like three, because I didn't want to do them all in order. I wanted to just do different things daily, even though each page is com is weirdly different from the last anyway. But anyway, I'm going to find um, number three, and we'll do that one in this video. So I'm going to cut out a lot of parts in here because I just don't want this video to be forever long. Um, like, because I numbered these so randomly, I'm going to have to cut out the parts where I'm finding it because I have to flip through, like, every page to find the page number. And I'm going to cut out another little section right here because I have to go get a pen. Okay, so I found page number three that I labeled, and it says to scribble wildly, violently, with reckless abandon. So I found a little pink pen. Oh, I'm going to try and, like, turn this way so you guys can actually just see the page. <laughs> I'm like pushing really hard. I hope I don't rip it. Scribble wildly, violently. <laughs> Dear Jesus, I'm ripping it. <laughs> and with reckless abandon. Ugh, this is like a good way to take out your aggression on something. Like you, that one, that one. Sorry for cussing, but that one bitch down the street, be staring at your man, you just be like. My man, this is my man. <laughs> I ripped it. Sorry. So I totally did. I was like a savage. Like I destroyed this paper. Ooh, you can like see I ripped through this paper too. And the next one. Oh, hold on, I ripped through one, two, three, four, five. There's like a total of five pages I stabbed through with that pen, like... I broke my pen doing it! Holy shit! I broke my freaking pen doing that! Do you see this? Too violent, Kayla, too violent! Now I have to throw my pretty pink pen away! Crap! I just went... I went way too hard on that paper, hold on. Okay, sorry, it took me forever to find another pen. Hopefully this pen has some ink in it. So, yeah, that was page number three. Page number three has been destroyed. Let's find page number four real quick. Um, by the way, when I numbered these, like, I know I told you I did them randomly. Um, I didn't want to, like, see what was on the page so that I wouldn't, like, um, purposely put a number there because that's, like, the one I wanted to do more than others. So all I did was, when I numbered them, I just flipped the corner only so I couldn't read the page. Just so you know, like... And I haven't looked at this book in forever, so um, whatever pages we turn up on, like, I don't remember what they're for. I'm just letting you know that I didn't number them, like, purposely. So they're gonna, there's gonna be some that's just gonna be so freaking random. Okay, I'm still looking for page four. Hold on. Oh, and by the way, you can get multiple versions of this Wreck, wreck This Journal. Um, I'll try to leave a link below, maybe finding them on Amazon or something. Just go to Google and type in Wreck This Journal and you'll see there's like several different journals to do, um, with like lots of different things. Oh, I found page number four. Okay, so see, even though this is, um, on two pages, it's, it takes up like both sides, so I labeled both of these as only number four. But there's some where, like, there's a thing on each side, so that's why there's, like, that's why I'm saying where I got the number 107 pages from. And that's not including the the last thing. Like, the last thing is actually on the back cover. So, this one, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do this one. Because this one says to collect your pocket lint and glue it here. I don't really get pocket lint. Like, I guess I could collect dryer lint and, like, try to glue that on there. Ah, oh, this is going to take forever to dry, though. Hold on, I'll get some dryer lint and glue it on there. Hold on. This book is making my fat butt, like, run out of breath, running through this house trying to find stuff. So I've collected, like, all the dryer lint I could out of the little vent thing and some Elmer's glue. So I'm going to try and glue this on real quick and then show it to you. And then I'll have to, like, pfft, lint's going everywhere. I'll have to, like, let it dry. Before we go to the next page. Let me see here. I'm just going to throw some glue on here. Squish. Squish. I'll try to put some on like both pages. Oh, it's sticking to my finger. Oh my gosh, this is gross. Hold on. 
I just wiped it like a booger. I'm just like wiping it everywhere. Get off my finger, you freak. It's not coming off. Ew, this is really gross. It's like so squishy. There you go. I know it says pocket lint, but it also said that the instructions could be whatever word it used. So I glued dryer lint to it. And I might have covered the glue enough where I can still dig through the pages without worrying about if it's dry or not. Let me just get all the lint covering every piece of glue. So that way hopefully I don't accidentally glue the pages together while I flip through and wear it. Oh my god, it's just going to stick to me and freak me out. Okay, hopefully I'll look, I can look for page number five now without those pages sticking together. And I remember seeing number five that was closer to the front, so hold on and I'll come back to when I find it. Pour, spill, spit, drip, or fling your coffee here. Okay, hold on. It's coffee from this morning that's really cold, so it's not. I'm not gonna put it in my mouth and spit it. Maybe a little bit, but I'm gonna just go get the old coffee and do this real quick. Whew, out of breath. Okay, I just put the coffee in like one of these Dijima flippers and it was just washed so there's like water dripping out everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this without getting it all over me. Okay. Dripping coffee. Why is this so hard to squeeze? Oh. Ooh! I don't want it on me. Dude, I'm going to make a freaking mess all over my floor. I got it all in this. Oh my gosh, it's dripping everywhere. I have to go over a sink. Hold on. I'm going to try this with darker coffee because now it just kind of looks like somebody peed on the book. I just sort of like, it's still really wet. I just sort of like patted it with this rag so it just wouldn't be dripping everywhere. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know how well the lighting is doing. There's like even coffee grounds a little bit in there, I think from where I got it from like the very bottom of the pot. <laughs> it's like all over my hand. Okay. There's page number five. Let's find page number six real quick. Okay, page number six. This page is for handprints or fingerprints. Let them, or get them dirty and then press down. So, I don't really know what to get them dirty with because I don't feel like going out and actually like digging in dirt. So how about I try, like, makeup? Let's try, like, eyeshadows and see. It'll be like swatching, but on paper, right? So I have this Victoria makeup kit. And I'm not even going to look. Like, I'm just going to not even look. I'm going to stick my fingers in stuff. Let me try to get all fingers real quick. Okay. Okay. I'm going to swipe it, too. How's that? Huh? Ew. How's that? Oh, I should have got this rag wet so that I could wash. Let me see. What else could we do on it? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, how about we do, um... How about I put, like, lip gloss or lipstick on my finger and push that in? Hold on. Let me grab some. I'm just going to use this, like, e.l.f. lip gloss and sort of, like... Stick it all over my fingers. There's still lint on my fingers. Hold on. Okay, here's some pink lip gloss. Press it down on there real quick. Alright. It's kind of cute. Wipe it. <laughs> you know what? I'll have the, um, I don't know if I'll film it or not. I'll have to see. But, um... Let me get this rag wet real quick, but I'll have the kids go out and like actually put their hand in dirt and handprint. Hold on. But yeah, I'll have the kids go out later and like play in dirt and try and print their fingerprints and handprints on there. But so far we have this. And I'll go ahead and find page 7 too real quick because it wasn't far from page 6, so hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, page 7 is throw something, a pencil, a ball dipped in paint whatever at this here target and see what I can get so give me a second because I'm gonna have to set this book up and then flip the camera around 
where it's facing the book, and then you can like watch me throw things at it, okay? Hold on a second. Okay, excuse the messy desk. Um, hopefully you can see that really well. So I'm going to throw this pen at it and this Cutco knife because that's not dangerous at all, right? Ugh, I hit way outside the line. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm going to try this knife. This is dangerous. Okay, don't do this. I'm not going to throw it hard because I'm scared it's going to ricochet and just like slice me. Oh my god. Hold on. Ooh, move my phone. Bad idea. Here, I'm just gonna pretend to throw it at it. Yeah, and just 50 points, mf -er. Okay, sorry if that one wasn't as fun, but I wanted to throw something at it that would actually like maybe cut it. And throwing this knife scared the crap out of me. So no more of that. But I did actually like manage to stab it. Uh, hold on, I know that chair is really annoying. There's, like there's a puncture hole right up there. Oh, hold on here. I don't know if you can see it. And then there's like a, I can see it, like the light shining through it. There's a puncture hole right here somewhere. There's a few from the 50 where I was stabbing it. Like, hold on, I'll just rip this one a little bit more so you can see. Maybe you can see it now. So, yeah, that is going to have to be done later. I tell you what, if somebody gets this book and does like archery, rip that page out and hang it on a tree trunk or on hay or something and try and hit it with an arrow. Let's go ahead and find page 8 really quick. 8 is do some rubbings with a pencil and by rubbings I'm pretty sure it's talking about um oh the lit page it was sticking okay anyway I think by rubbings it means to put something like a leaf underneath the page and then rub it with a pencil um so hold on, I'm going to get like um, like quarters or something and do it with that. Okay, so I got a quarter, a dime, a penny, and a nickel that we'll do really quick. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but in case I'm not explaining it very well, I'll show you real quick. So, let's see if I can do this by holding the book up. I put the quarter underneath the page right there, and you just take like the side of your pencil... And you just like rub it over the quarter. Sorry if you can't really see because the light. Hold on, I'm gonna set it down so I can press harder and get like the actual image to show it maybe. Okay, that's supposed to be a quarter, y'all. Can you kind of tell? I'm gonna put um 25 cents just so we know that that's a quarter. Okay, I'll do the rest of these really quick, and then I'll show it to you. I'll do the back side of the nickel. I might um, go back and do more on this page later, and maybe do like leaves or flowers, because I feel like that would be really cool. Um, I'm just finishing up with the penny right now. And I feel like I should have got this pencil a lot sharper, so that way it would... Um, sorry, you can't even see anything about it, like the top of my head. So that way it would transfer the image easier. But, um... Let me label this as one cent real quick, and then I'll show you what I got. So there you go. 25 cents, 5 cents, 10 cents, and a penny. It looks disgusting, but okay. And I now have... <sighs> lead finger. Okay, we're on page 8. I'll look real quick at page 9, and if it looks like it'll be one that'll take too long, then I'll go ahead and cut this video for now. And, yeah, and then we'll figure it out from there. Let me try to find page 9 really quick. Yeah, so this one I'll do later, but page 9 is to place sticky things here, like honey, gum, syrup, glue, a sucker, marshmallow. I'll go ahead and, and put some glue on here real quick. And I'll just put it on here, like, in the shape of a K. Sort of. Um, but I'll go back later, and I'll add, like, honey... And I don't know about gum. Maybe marshmallow? I don't know about that either. But, yeah, we'll figure it out later. I'm actually going to let this close while the glue's still wet. And then not move it. And so then maybe when I peel it apart, it'll still look like a K. Anyway, you guys. Um, 
yeah, so for the Wreck My jo Wreck This Journal series that I'm starting on my channel, this is like episode one of it, I will try to do a video, at least at the very minimum, one video per week. Um, sometimes I may do more per week. Sometimes I might accidentally skip a week, but I'm going to try my best to keep it my goal to just say minimum of one um, episode per week for this series. And I will try to finish, by the end of this series, we'll try to finish this entire book. And if you have any recommendations on, like, after you've watched this video, what I should go back and do to the pages that I've shown today in this episode, go ahead and leave your comments, any recommendation, like, hey, Kayla, put marshmallows on that page, or, um, yeah, go outside and get a flower and do pencil rubbings with that. Just, like, leave your recommendations for me, and I will maybe um, do, like, a quick including of it at the end of the next episode so that you can see that I did look and um, try it out your recommendations. Anyway, again, I'll try not to move this book too much. This is The Wreck This Journal by Carrie Smith, and if you're looking for this journal, I would try a half price, half price, why can I not speak today? Half price bookstore, um, if there's one near you, because like I said, instead of $15, I paid $5.99. So that's like, oh, there is a big wasp flying by my window. Anyway, sorry. So yeah, I saved quite a bit of money. Um, it was actually, like I saved more than half the price. So anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. And I really hope, smack the like button if you guys want me to continue this series. I feel like it's going to be fun. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.